Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Jose to throw first. Game on! It is the Portuguese who will get things underway. Rob Malarkey is in the box for this one. 14 180s for Jose de Souza so far this weekend. That is just one measure one of how impressive he has been on his European Tour debut. Scott Taylor 6 3, Darren Webster 6 5, Darrell Gurney 6 2. But the other story of the weekend so far for de Souza is this ability to pass up match dart after match dart after match dart and still bring home the bacon. 100. Yeah, and look, his performances, his final averages have been really good, Jose de Sousa. But if it wasn't for the fact that as soon as he gets towards match dar, he starts missing and missing and missing and missing, you could probably stick another five or six points on those averages, in which case they go from being very, very good to absolutely terrifying. 100.63 alone against Daryl Gurney, despite missing wow. seven match darts before Fancy. sealing the deal. It was some time ago so since Chris Dobie made a quarter-final on the Euro Tour, as you mentioned. It was at the German Masters in 2016. He was beaten 6-5 by Michael van Gerwen in that quarter-final. Dobie averaged over a ton in that one as well. Yeah, MVG going on to win the title, beat Peter Wright in the final. Peter Wright's already been knocked out here. MVG hasn't played this weekend. Things will be different here. Yeah, D'Souza just checking the score. He has done that periodically throughout this weekend, maybe just not able to decipher the numbers, just double-checking just in case to be absolutely certain. 57. Pressure require 90. Dobie could end up with a dart at the bull himself here. Double five it is. 80. You say you require 25. Sharp, Sousa is yeah, yeah, this is off the mark in this quarter final. Our MC Philip was 96. going through the preview up on stage earlier on with a pretty sizable crowd here at the Bromby Allen. And he's going through the individual players and calling out their names, seeing what kind of response they got. Typically, Gerwin Price got a bit of booing. We saw Simon Whitlock in enormous cheers. A lot of Whitlock fans all the way across Europe and indeed the world. Jose de Sousa turned out to be a, a popular one. 96. And who knows? We have seen players win their first PDC titles. On the European Tour, Max Hopp did it last year. 74. Well, he's got his counting wrong there, Jose de Sousa. Straight ton to leave 165. It is a bit of a theme, getting the numbers wrong with Jose. Yes, we haven't mentioned the 39 steps that he took earlier on today. 91. But this is a great opportunity for Chris Dobie to reach his first semi-final on the Euro Tour. One right on five. Chris, you require 40. Shot, yeah, very leg. good leg of darts. Chris, Chris Doby, 13 darter, Third holds his throw, great, uh, levels the game up at one apiece. I mean, uh, look, I've not interviewed Jose. I don't know a lot about his background. Wow. Obviously, we've seen him at the World Championship. We saw him at the World Championship a few years ago. But my guess would be that he comes from a soft hit background, as a lot of the players from that part of the world do. Cristo Reyes. Tony Alcinas, the Spanish players, big soft tip players who've moved over to steel tip. And so Jose has had the luxury of having a, what is essentially a computer game doing most of the counting for him and telling him 
what to go for. So he hasn't had to think in the in the steel tip way. And so he does make some little errors, like Tom to leave 165 or the frankly bizarre 39 checkout that he took out this afternoon. But you can learn the counting stuff. You can't teach raw, natural talent. And it would appear that Jose de Souza has that in abundance with the way he's been playing. And the other thing as well, I mean, he's had to acclimatise. I say acclimatise, I mean, it's a long day this final day on the Euro Tour, but he's had long days on the Pro Tour, as we know, uh, making a semi final recently. And I think that would have stood him in good stead. And I mentioned before that bumper field of 300 people or so to get through the South and West Europe qualifier. I mean, this will be a walk in the park compared to that particular ordeal. Nine matches wow. in a day he had to play to get through that, including the likes of Jose Justitia, who didn't make it through, and Jesus Nogueira as well. And I thought that stood him in good stead for going to Q School as well at the start of this year. Which he also successfully negotiated as well. Great dart from Dobie, chance to break. Really good stuff. Backs up that 13 data with a 14 data. Chris Dobie hits the front for the first time. Well, one feature of Dobie's passage to the quarterfinals here has been his consistency on the doubles, not in terms of actually hitting them, but in the fact that in every one of his matches so far, he has produced six out of 18 on his doubles. So you know what you're going to expect with Chris Dobie. And it's been enough so far. He's beaten Steve West, Ricky Evans, two very wow. tough assignments for his opening Fancy. two matches. Kirk Shepard, former World Championship finalist as well. Yeah, and he's been getting better round by round. 89 average against Steve West. 93 and a bit against Ricky Evans. Wow. 97 and a half against Kirk Shepard. Now, if he carries on with that trend and he can get better and better and better, then Chris Dobie is going to be very, very difficult to stop. Bit snatchy, he does get those 21. sort of jerky, wafty darts occasionally. Jose de Souza, a bit of the old chizzy snatch about it. One Nothing of the sort from Chris Doby, it's just <clears throat> smooth, elegant throwing style. Well, the bookies couldn't split them prior to the start of this one, they had them priced up at 11 to 10 on the pair, which I was slightly surprised that I thought they may have just sided with Dobie given the fact that he has had more European tour experience. I know Jose de Sousa has seen off Daryl Gurney today, but over the course of a weekend, I think you know that experience does come into a, a bit more of a, a focus as the, as the weekend wears on, as the Sunday wears on. And the fact that Chris Dobie has plenty more experience of the Pro Tour as well. Should be tops, tops here, I think. Can't produce it. Chris Dobie will have a look at 90, just Chris as he did in the first leg. 90. He missed double five in that instance. It's bullseye he wants now. Just double checking with Russ Bray, but the bullseye is missed, and that was for a 3 1 lead to Sousa with a reprieve for the time being. He will be very difficult to shake off. Dobie will feel as though he needs a cushion of two legs somewhere along the way here. Well, they had a, a really intriguing game on the Pro Tour. What's that? Shenanigans in the crowd. But they had a really intriguing game on the Pro Tour back in February, the one time that they've met before. Chris Dobie won it 6 4, an average 97. But he had to win the last four legs in that game. And de Sousa was getting chances, missed darts at a bullseye for the you know 80-odd finish. You know. Check out of around about the time. He was getting darts and he just missed them. It could have been different. And I think as well, as this match 
progresses, if D'Souza is still in the hunt at, say, four apiece or whatever, I think the crowd will begin to play their part as well. And I think they will side with D'Souza because they can sense that there's a, a story here. They love an upset in Denmark, no doubt about that. Doby, however, is not in the mood for one of those today. <laughs> Taking charge on the D'Souza throw once more. Three times Chris Doby has made it through to a ranking final in PDC darts. Did it a couple of times last year. Did it 96. for the first time back in 2016, a long while ago now. Still searching for that first PDC title. And he's had some very notable performances on the biggest stage of all, hasn't he, where he's been able 16. to announce himself to a, a wider audience. He had that terrific run to the last 16 at Ali Pali last December. Uh, losing to Gary Anderson 4-3 in an absolute epic. Yeah, really did have a, a great chance of beating Gary Anderson. As did Jermaine Watermainer. Mr. Matched Art for a 170 to beat Anderson in the same tournament. Yeah, he, he led 3-2 and in the decider when trailing 3-2 in the legs, he, he missed a big number for a 16. double 16 to allow Anderson back in. And, of course, Anderson did the rest. He also played really well against Phil Taylor the year before. It was Taylor's mm. final appearance, and it was Taylor's first-round match that year. Doby losing 3-1. Doby cool. leading 3-2 here now. Yeah, he thought he had Phil Taylor that first. night. I think it, a lot of people thought Chris Doby was just cannon fodder for the power in his final World Championship. It did not turn out like that at all. Fairly early on in his career as well, he beat Adrian Lewis in the Grand Slam as well. Made the quarter-finals of the Grand Slam in 2016. Lost to James Wade in the last eight, but beat Lewis in the group stage. So from a, a very early introduction, or shortly after his 100. arrival into the PDC circuit at the start of 2015, it didn't take him long to uh, start making a name for himself. Taylor himself has spoken very highly of Chris Doby, as indeed of many people, including Gary Anderson. Yes, he is, as the Harlems goes, a cracking little player, Chris Doby, but he'll feel that it's time for him to take the next step. The next step involves winning a title it also involves getting to the big tournaments and it looks with his run here this weekend like we will for the first time in his career see Chris Doby at the world match play he's that been is. on the cusp hasn't he yes. for, on these Last cut off of points for what seems like an eternity and it's uh, I think fair reward for his determination more than anything and the progress he's made since uh, arriving on the PDC circuit Raymond van Barneveld fan in the house Fresh from uploading uh, wacky pictures to Instagram. You want to check out Barney's Instagram? That's full of wacky pictures. One hundred. Pressure requires to, uh, 68. Embellish that, Dan? I will do, in a moment. 48 required. 32 required. Chris Doby has a two-leg advantage, and Jose de Sousa's dream debut might be coming to an end in the quarterfinals. Yeah, Raymond Van Barneveld, who you will see on the World Series this year, just been announced that him and James Wade will be playing various tournaments. Well, he was expecting to be on all the World Series events last year. So, you know, for example, Las Vegas. Barney and Vegas really like that. So he booked his little holiday Six driving around America. You know, sacked off some Pro Tour stuff. <laughs> not going to bother with that. Go on a bit of a holiday and just turn up for the World Series. Well, he wasn't picked, was he? So gone all the way to America oh and planned all of this. I'll be, I'm ready for the World Series, guys. I know. I've got somebody else, Ray. He ended up going around all the Midwest and taking pictures of himself dressed as a sheriff, waving guns around and stuff like that. It's very oh amusing. Didn't win any darts tournaments doing it. But it looked like he had a lovely time. And Chris Doby's having a lovely time of it here because once again, he has upped his average by four or five points. He's done it every single round so far this weekend. And you suspect if he does go through to the semis, he will have to raise it significantly again because Gerwin Price, the mood he's 93. in right now, uh, you suspect nothing less than 105 will do. Well, of 
finished, though. He was 4-2 down when he beat Jose de Sousa 6-4 earlier on this year on the Pro Tour. Can Jose flip reverse that? 58. That's how you require 135. That looks a good guide if you can find the treble 20. Which he can. Can he use that guide? Yes, he can indeed. We've seen the 135 already today, and we've seen it once again. And the Sousa reduces the arrears to 4 3. Not bad, Jose. Just a little reminder for Chris Dovey, the 135 checkout is followed by an opening visit of 180. That's and his. Senora de Sousa looks pretty pleased with that as well. His first maximum of this match is 15 of the weekend, is that right? Well, coming into this match, he was on 40. So there we go. Yeah, three against Taylor, six against Webster, and five earlier today against Daryl Gurney. There you go. Confirmed in Monstrous the 180 hitting from Jose de Sousa. Dobie's given himself a shot. Dobie hit 15 180s in that match against Anderson that we uh, referred to a short while ago as well. Just a coincidence there. See that snatchy dart, bit wafty. Spraying them left and right as Dobie doesn't need to go on the 20s again here. That's fine. So a big high one up near double top. Yeah, sensible course of action there for Chris Dobie. No need to be too aggressive. No need to be too flamboyant. Just sticking to his principles and playing his percentages very well indeed as he looks to re-establish this lead of two legs and move to within one place of a first ever European Tour semi-final for the 29-year-old from the northeast. Oh my! Chris Doby. Three clear misses. He has not done that in this game as yet until that point, and Jose de Sousa is there to pounce. Not in, Joseph. Stare at it all you like. You need to have another go. That's it. No need to stare at that one. Bang on the money and the Sousa. Not in the mood to go anywhere just yet. He trailed 4-2 and he's back in it at four apiece. And, well, Chris Doby will be reflecting on those three clear darts for a 5-3 lead there. Normally, you would expect Chris Doby to gobble up those opportunities 100. but that was a good leg by this who's really using that impetus from that 135 checkout at the end of the previous leg it's a good effect well he did say that in his game so far this weekend Chris Dobie has missed doubles he's been round about 30 he's been 33 percent hasn't he for the weekend he'd only missed three darts at double until that point and then all of a sudden he starts seeing those misses and it's cost him a leg, it could end up costing him the match. That latest visit by De Sousa is something for Dobie to work with, however, wow. and he's certainly done that. 40. Not quite stolen the darts yet, Chris Dobie, but he's perhaps in the frame to do so. Yeah, it's another visit without a treble, it's a shame this for De Sousa. Now Dobie's in position once again. Sun 40 gets him down to a finish. Dobie once again, given the luxury of not having to go the bullseye route. So he just wants to set this up. Hey, look at the ball. 65. Yeah, gets him to a two darter. Well, this would be a great time for another 180. Oh. 
looming up in the rearview mirror. Jose de Sousa down to double eight. Doby under the cosh. Is he going double double? Two double nineteens. Yeah. That was the route, but he couldn't execute, and all of a sudden, Jose de Sousa. He was struggling in this leg on his own throw. But he's turned it around, and Jose de Sousa is just one leg away from a place in the semi finals on his European Tour debut. One run on 19. Well, we have had, or well, we have seen unseeded players going deep in Euro Tour events. Mervyn King was unseeded when he reached the final of one of these Euro Tour events recently. But on debut, this is a story in the making. One on. Dobie looking to force a last leg decider and. He has shown us this year in particular that he's pretty good in the last one leg. Is Chris Doby he won one game on the Pro Tour this year and on the live streaming boards? Won it with a nine darter in the last leg. One run of forty. Which should require 142. Various options for this. Doby going the standard way. Is it trouble 14? Does he stay there? Yeah, okay. Stayed there, trying to leave the double 90. 11. You can see the thing. Does only require 161. To win it in spectacular fashion. Portugal's Jose de Sousa will not take the 161. 91. Which gives me an opportunity to uh, require 52. remind you, of course, that Max Hopp was unseeded when he won his Euro Tour title recently. But Doby's not done with just yet. We are going all the way in our second quarter final. It's De Sousa with the advantage of throwing first. With so much on the line here for both. Well, De Sousa needed a last leg to beat Darren Webster in the end. It's only a ton 40, the crowd thought it was a max. It wasn't far away, Russ Bray had to have a good second glance at that one. 60. Ton 40 plays 60 though. Well, one of the problems Jose De Sousa has had this weekend is getting over the line. Missed loads of match darts before finally doing it against Gurney. Missed loads of match darts before finally doing it against Darren Webster. He cannot afford to do that in this leg because Chris Doby, even though he trails by a long way in this leg, if it takes him six, seven, eight times, then it's going to allow Doby an opportunity to steal the game away from him. Again, one of the features of D'Souza this weekend, he has just remained in the main, expressionless throughout his matches. There's very little sign of, or any indication of how he's feeling. I'm sure his stomach is turning cartwheels right now because he's on the verge of something very special indeed. 57. He still has the advantage, Jose D'Souza. How can he set this up? That's the first dart to err from the straight and narrow in this leg. Great recovery. And it was almost inevitable that he would have a little stumble along the way. But Chris Doby can get back on track here. Should start on the 19s, but it's Jose de Sousa who knows what he's going to do. Treble, 20, is not there, Doby has his chance, he needs to take it, he has not checked out anything over a ton in this match as yet. He's going to get a dart, a double top. Missed match dart for Doby, number one. 
De Sousa. Two darts at tops to continue this glorious adventure here in Denmark. A country renowned for its fairy tales, but there's no fairy tale just yet. Both men have mismatched darts. Jose de Sousa once again unable to kill the Richard game off at the first 20. attempt. And Chris Doby looking to make the semi finals on the Euro Tour for the first time in his career. Is through to the final it's four here in Copenhagen. What a debut for Jose de Sousa. We've got a serious player on our hands, but we've known for some time now that Chris Doby is an incredible talent and maybe tonight is when he takes the next step and wins his first PDC ranking title.